Happy New Year everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to manage your task with Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do is a cloud-based personal task management tool and it's part of the Office 365 suite and accessible from any device with an internet connection. So this is a time when people make resolutions and set goals for the year. One of my goals is to be more thoughtful about how I approach and prioritize my tasks. In the past, I had my tasks scattered in several different places including OneNote, Apple Reminder app, and in an email, using an email reminder tool called Follow Up Then. And these tools did a good job reminding me of tasks that needed to be done, but it was difficult to consolidate and prioritize them and decide which tasks to work on next. And a while ago, I came across a YouTube video where Jim Rohn explained effective time management. Jim was an American entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker, and he was said to have mentored life strategist Tony Robbins. And in his lecture, Jim says, don't start the day until you have it finished, don't start the week until you have it finished, and don't start the month until you have it finished. Plan your day. And I know this sounds obvious, but how many of us actually do this consistently? By planning out each day, week, and month, we can be choiceful about which tasks to take on and focus on what's most important and impactful. And with that said, I'm trying out a new system for managing my priorities and tasks this year. I've started using Microsoft To Do. In recent months, Teams has become a hub for managing my work, and I've adopted many tools and apps within the Office 365 ecosystem into my workflow, so I thought it made sense for me to give To Do a try. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how this works. Alright, let me show you how to get to the app. Navigate to the Office 365 homepage. Click on the App Launcher and select To Do. In the navigation pane, we see a few different lists. The task is your main list where all of your active tasks reside, unless you specify otherwise. And the other list simply offers filter view of your tasks. We're going to start from the bottom up. So let's create a couple of tasks in this main task list. You can mark each task completed by clicking on the circle. The task will be removed from active view. If you want to view your completed task, you can simply click on the completed section to expand. And if you want to make a completed task active again, you can right click and select mark as not completed. You can click on any task for a detailed view. Here again, you have the option to mark task as completed. You can also create subtasks. Add to My Day will show this task in the My Day section. My Day is sort of like a focus view. If you have dozens of tasks, it may become quickly overwhelming and may be hard for you to determine which task to work on next. You can prioritize your task for each day by tagging or moving important and urgent tasks to my day. I personally put no more than four to five tasks in my day and make sure I complete them each day. If I have the time to work on additional tasks, I simply move on to the task in the important section, which we'll cover shortly. You can either add a reminder to this task, add a due date, or both. Both will give you some presets along with the option to choose specific date and time. Tasks with due date assigned will also show up in the planned list. You can specify if a task is a repeating task. Again, you have some basic presets for the repeat cadence, and you have the option to customize the repeat frequency and schedule. you can assign a task with a specific category. These categories are what you have set up in Outlook. You can customize the categories here and the info will cascade to to-do. You can attach files to a task. And finally, you can add notes to a task. 
On the bottom, you have the option to delete the selected task and hide the detailed view pane. As you can see, the task now has few icons to indicate some of the attributes. One of the cool features of ToDo is its integration with Outlook and MS Planner. This list is showing some of the flagged emails that are long overdue as indicated in red. Let's select an item for a detailed view, and you can see the actual email message here. You have the option to open the actual email in Outlook. Although ToDo is best used for personal tasks, you can share your tasks and assign them to others. Any tasks that others have assigned to you will show here. And again, since ToDo is integrated with Planner, any Planner tasks that are assigned to you will show here as well. So these tasks are all from Planner. Let's click on one for detail. Here we see the option to open the original task in Planner. So as I mentioned earlier, this is where all of the tasks with due dates can be viewed. You see all of the tasks with upcoming due dates. And if you want to view tasks that are past due, you can expand this section here. By the way, if a task has a reminder but no due date, it won't be shown here. And naturally, if you want to change the due date for a task, you can click for detail view and change it. Now going back to the task list, in addition to clicking on a task for a detail view, you can also right click for the context menu. Here you have some of the same options available in the detail view, but you also have the option to make the task important. Any task you mark as important here will show up in the important list. By the way, this list includes planner tasks that have been tagged as important as well. And at the top of the list is my day. Again, the task in this list is what you should focus on getting done. In order to be productive, you need to be able to prioritize and remove distractions. Having your attention on just the four or five things you must get done for the day will make it more likely for you to complete them. You can right mouse click on any of the tasks from any list and choose add to my day. Or you can simply drag the task over to the my day list. One option that's unique to the My Day list is there's a button for suggestions. If you click on it, it'll suggest different tasks that you could add to your My Day list. Now each of these lists will have different options to change the theme, show completed tasks, and to print. And for some lists, you also have the option to sort by different criteria. You have the option to create your own list. For example, you can have a dedicated list for each project you manage, or you can have one list for your work and one list for your home. Let's create a few lists here. When you create your own list, you have the option to share that list with someone else. You can create an invitation link and either invite others via email or you can copy the link and send it using other methods like SMS, text, Teams chat, whichever you prefer. This is what the email would look like. Now the shared list is indicated by this icon. You can also create a group for your custom lists. Click on this button here, type the name of the group, and you can drag in the different custom lists into that group. Oh, by the way, if you ever want to unshare a shared list, you can click on it Click on the share button, manage share access, and choose stop sharing. This will unshare the list. 
As I mentioned earlier, to do and my task in Outlook are linked. That means tasks that I create in Outlook will appear in to do and vice versa. Let's see what that looks like. So I'll create a new task in Outlook. I'll give it a name. Choose a due date and set the priority. Then save and close. You see that the task has been created in Outlook. And once you refresh the browser, you see the task in my to do as well. And because I tagged the task as high priority, it automatically shows up in my important list. By the way, if you use Teams as a hub for all of your office work, you can add task app in Teams. From the navigation pane, select apps, then search for task. Then choose tasks by planner and to do. And simply click on add. You'll now see it added to your navigation bar. This app brings together individual tasks from To Do and Outlook with your team's task from Planner. So you can get a holistic view here. So that was a basic overview of Microsoft To Do. I think with any system, you have to use it consistently for a few months to be able to gauge its benefit. So I'm going to commit to using this system for the next three to four months and hopefully report back to you on my experience. And if you have a task management system that is working well for you, share in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to check out some of my other videos on productivity. Thanks and bye for now.